What's up guys, Mike here. I've been getting a lot of requests from you guys asking me to do a video on the new IPO that is going out tomorrow, September the 15th, and it's called Snowflake. Ticker symbol is going to be S-N-O-W. And in this video, I'm going to give you all the details you guys need to know on whether you should invest in this company or not. And the decision will always be up to you, but I want you guys to have all the details that I can give you to make sure you are getting the best value for your buck, the best money you can buy, and the best return for your money as well at the same time. I'll also go over whether I'm going to invest in it, what I think about this company, and what do I see with the future of this company. And all of that is going to be in this video, and I'll try to make it as brief and as detailed as possible all-in-one combination so with that said make sure to smash that like button hit subscribe and let's begin yeah all right guys so snowflake is going to be pricing their ipo at a above $120 a share starting when the market opens. Now, when market opens, don't expect this to be $120 because all the big companies are going to be buying this up before you guys even get a chance to jump into this and get it at $120. And it was supposed to be going for $75 to $85 and then they just raise it to $100 to $110 and now they're saying it's worth $120. That is a 33 billion dollar valuation for this company right now and where they're only making 250 million dollars and they do have a lot of investors like Warren Buffett and Salesforce so I don't know the decision is going to be yours if you want to get into this this is an insane valuation and an insane high priced IPO and I've seen IPOs when they're priced this high they usually come down very quickly at the same time so be, be, be very prepared all right so what is snowflakes pretty much they are a cloud data platform and what that means is you can store things pretty much into the clouds and that is what pretty much it is and they have a lot to offer no joke this is a pretty legit company they have a lot to offer I believe they have data engineering they have data lake they have data warehouses they have data science they have data applications they have some data exchanges they have a lot to offer um, I think this company could go a long way in the long run um, I don't know too much about the short term how profitable they are now because I'm going to be all going over their financials and right now they are not very profitable and you'll definitely see why. So here are a few things that you should know about Snowflake and Snowflake is available to be used on Google Cloud, on Azure and of course on Amazon as well. Now Snowflake has a lot of different cloud services. I really don't understand what any of these are to be honest with you guys but these are some of the services that they do provide and a lot of big tech companies would be interested in using like centralized storage that is something they they would like to use because what snowflake does is you want to store something you don't want to store it in your own facility you use the cloud and pretty much cloud is somewhere that is being stored all your information already there and you don't have to take up any space in your own company or house or anything like that and you just store it into snowflakes facility into their computers into their centralized storages now Snowflake has a very diverse set of customers such as Instacart, they have Caterpillar, they also have Square, they also have Adobe, and they also have many other big names that you could see on this list as well. Now Snowflake has some pretty big spenders that are investing into this company such as Warren Buffett with his Berkshire Hathaway and he's spending about 250 million to almost 500 million into the Snowflake company and IPO as well. There's also another big name that's investing in Snowflake, and that is Mark Benningham, who is also from Salesforce. Here are some of the financials I got. I really want you guys to look, take a deep look into. And what it says is the revenue that they generated is 260 four million dollars, but they had a lot of costs. All right, and those expenses were of course sales advertising marketing research and development and that cuts already half their revenue in half it cuts that 264 million in half and it only comes out to 148 million in 
gross profit, which is at the end of the day, when you add up everything, operating costs and all the taxes, this company is not making money. They run at a net loss of $348 million. And what's going to happen is this IPO is going to go up. And because the valuation of this company is going to be really substantially high. And after 30 days of this stock being traded, I can guarantee you that Snowflake will dilute your shares and they are going to substantially sell a ton of shares on the market and cause the stock to tank. So I want you guys to be aware of that because they have to do that. They have to raise money. And in order to do that, they have to sell shares onto the market. And that's what's going to happen is going to cause you to be diluted. Your shares are going to be worth less because they're going to be selling a ton more shares to the market, to the public. And that is going to cause your value, your stock to go down as well. And you're going to be losing money as well holding this company because they need to raise money. They're already operating at a net loss and that could be very dangerous for you as well. Let's also take a look at some of their statistics that they're doing exceptionally well. And what's going on is the net retention rate of their current customers is 158%. So what does that mean? That means Snowflake is keeping their previous customers and their customers are actually purchasing more and more every time from Snowflake. Their revenue growth is growing over 121%. Now that is a huge substantial number. This is very good for Snowflake. Right now they're operating at a loss, but I think in a few years they will be operating at positive cash flow. They'll be making money and they will not be losing money. But short term, I do see them operating at a loss and they're going to be losing substantial amount of money and they're definitely be going to be raising money. And in order to do that, they need to dilute shares. They need to sell shares and you are going to be diluted in the process of owning this company. But this company is doing exceptionally well. I cannot put them down for it. They went from 96 million to 264 million from 2019 to 20. That is a 174% increase in revenue, which is fantastic so they are growing at a very rapid rate so don't count snowflake out for the long run here's another really positive thing that you guys should see and that is gross margin and snowflake has been growing tremendously over the last year or two and they went from 49 percent gross margin to 62 percent that is almost a 20 percent 15 to 20 percent increase and that is a massive amount and i think they are going to be profitable in very near soon future not not very quickly but very soon as well all right so like i said i'm going to tell you guys whether i'm going to be investing in snowflake and the short answer to that is absolutely not i do see a huge potential for this company but right now at the valuation that it is being given is considerably ridiculous and the price they are starting it at is 120 dollars and they're saying their company valuation is a $33 billion company and it's only making $250 in revenue and half of, half of that is being spent on ad revenue, which is, what do you mean? Like all the profits that they're making on this company is pretty much sliced in half, already given out just in ad revenue. So I don't see this company as a very profitable company at all right now but I do think this company will be definitely profitable in the near future because they have a lot of potential I see a lot of potential in this company but definitely I will not invest on the IPO day I think this company will go up fairly a good fair amount on the first day or two and then it's going to drop like it's hot. I promise you, I will see a huge dip, a huge sell-off coming up in this company. So I would be very, very fearful buying into this hype. There's a lot of hype for this company and a lot of things could go wrong when a company is being hyped up this much and their starting valuation is already at a $33 billion valuation when they're only generating $250 million a year, which is 
absolutely terrible for me in my standpoint. The revenue is just not fit to its valuation of a $33 billion valuation and a starting price of $120. And I can tell you, when the market opens, you will not be getting it at $120. It is going to be substantially higher. So it is not going to be worth it. It's not going to be worth your money. I can tell you, you can put that money elsewhere and get a much much better return so yes there are huge investors in this company like warren buffett and berkshire hathaway as well as mark benningham who is also from salesforce so if i was gonna really invest in this company i would go for companies that already have some hype into this they already have their hands into the snowflake ipo and that is going to buy the stock berkshire hathaway or salesforce if you want to get your hands into the uh, snowflake you should buy berkshire hathaway or salesforce instead of uh, snowflake because it just doesn't make sense the valuation it doesn't make sense to pay $120 a share for this company when it is not generating enough money and it's not worth it to me but I do see a lot of potential they're already keeping over 130 percent of their customers which pretty much means that uh, all their old customers are coming back and even buying more from uh, snowflake which is great for them but I think there is a limit to that that is why I will not be investing in snowflake but if I see a 10% drop in this company I think that is a good time for me to get in if I was going to invest in it but right now I don't see any huge put future in this company in short term if this is something you want to hold for long term it is definitely a powerful growth stock but don't expect any like too much growth from this company they will have a lot of trouble over the years growing but i do see a lot of future they will continuously keep their customers they'll probably increase their sales they'll they'll definitely be making more money but this is probably something you want to hold for long term and not flip quickly so with that said, the decision is all up to you guys. And I want to make sure you guys get the best information and make the best uh, decision for you and for your money. So with that said, let make sure to smash that like button, hit subscribe, hit that notification bell so YouTube could alert you when my next video comes out. If you're planning on buying Snowflake, leave a comment below, let me know. Also, if you want to follow my trades, I do post it on Instagram. So if you want to be part of that, make sure to add me on Instagram. If you also want two free stocks from the stock market, Webull gives two free stocks, one for just signing up to use their platform, and a second stock when you make a $100 deposit or more. They'll give you a second stock worth up to $1,400 when you make a deposit of $100 or more and get your two free stocks from Webull. Link in the description below for that. If you want another free stock, Robinhood gives out a free stock. You don't have to make any deposit. You just sign up for the Robinhood app and they'll give you a free stock and we both get a free stock. In a link in the description below for that one as well. Thanks again for watching my videos and until next time, make money with Mike.